What is going on everybody, it's Reaction Weekly here and today we're back with a brand new video and today we'll be reacting to 5 scary ghost videos that'll make you throw your phone and as always make sure to check out Nukes Hot 5 down in the description along with the link to the original video and also check out our new Discord server also down in the description and let's get right into it. Let's get it. Number 5 Top 5 Ghosts Call on Camera Hiding in the closet. Mm -hmm. This From next video was sent in by a viewer, and it's one of those rare paranormal stories that's been around on YouTube for a decade, but Jeez. not many people no have ever seen it. Right in fact, in over 10 years, this channel has only gotten 66 subscribers and very few views. So let's get into it. Back in February 2011, YouTube user Steph posts a series of videos to document the creepy paranormal activity that she says she often experiences in her house's basement. But even as she tries to simply introduce her channel, things get a bit weird. Hi everyone, my name is Steph. Um, I live in New York and I just wanted to do a little bit of an introduction to my channel, Steph's Basement 89. Um, Basically, I think my house is haunted, which I know sounds silly and I still feel kind of silly saying it, but I guess I shouldn't. Um, we figured out that about the start of the new year of this year was when things started to happen. Um, it's mostly in the basement, but... Right? right? And so it began. Did you or are you f***ing with me? Someone's standing in the doorway. Someone's standing in the doorway, alright. Oh. Somebody just form tackle the closet. <laughs> so, can you... Move the camera. Oh, far. Yeah. <laughs> Richie, is that you? Oh my god. How about point the camera towards the so I, maybe? as I'm recording to you? Yeah. Pardon my language. Uh -huh. I feel like I just saw someone standing in the doorway, and so did he. No one, right? No. Uh, came back up. I can smell your breath. <laughs> that was And now it's tossing plates like Tom Brady. Sounds like someone walking around. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we'll be back. But yeah, this Maybe. is an introduction. <laughs> a pretty good introduction to uh, my channel. And um, it's freaking out a little bit right now, but that's okay. And wipe the bacon grease off the lens, maybe? Uh, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Bye. Steph and her roommate Sam both claim to see something off camera. And we can hear strange noises in the background. But of course, all of this could easily be faked. But trust me, things are going to get much creepier. In this so. next video, we head down to what Steph alleges is the most haunted area of her home, the, the basement. basement. Steph's little dog Bella seems a bit freaked out by something in the basement closet. So normally when I come home from work, my dog Bella will come running to the door to greet me or whatever, and I just came home and she didn't do that, and it ends up she's down here in the basement just obsessing over this closet door. Um, she's never done this before. It looks open as if it. she's waiting for it to open or she thinks there's someone behind it, um, or it's like she acts like She's acting how she does when she wants to get into one of the rooms upstairs. Um, but she hasn't acknowledged me at all since I came home, which is very weird. Bella! She's not even answering to her name. I'm just gonna open it. If I go pull it... See, baby? There's nothing there. There's nothing there! There's nothing in there, crazy lady. It's dark, but... As you could probably see, there's oh, no one get yanked. in the closet, thank god. Yeah. See, now, baby, now, the there's nothing there, lady. Drums. Nothing, okay? Oh, she's back to sniffing it again. It's 
and freaking me out. She closed the door. Let's go upstairs. Over the next month, Steph experiences random noises from the basement and even some unnerving sightings of what she believes to be a supernatural apparition. She sets up a camera to record her basement room, specifically the closet. Her recordings capture many hours of, well, nothing. nothing. But then, late one Friday night, this happens. I see it. Uh -huh. But does it shut back? Oh, she was in there when that happened? Oh, God. Yeah, she got out of there quick. But it slammed. As Steph's back. friend Reese is oh. casually sitting in the basement one night checking her phone, the closet door just pops open on its own. Yeah. Now, Reese is a skeptic and doesn't believe the basement to be haunted at all. But still, we see her make a tiptoeing dash right out of the room. Fuck a so tiptoeing dash, boy. I'm fucking used to bolting out of that bitch. Dude. So she definitely seems spooked. So now, we yeah. cut to one night where Steph and her friend Rochelle are hanging out as it gets close to the midnight hour. <laughs> Steph decides to record a quick video for her roommate who is away on a trip. What she catches on camera is absolutely terrifying. Are you videotaping? Yeah, it's for Stan. I, I won't break them. <laughs> Rochelle's getting like really good at the drums. Oh my god. Oh. So what the hell? We're losing our mind. Oh my god. That was in the closet. Did you see it? Damn, I really saw it. camera by the open closet door. Bro, it I looks as if an older hall. woman in a white gown is just. Dude. Bro. Are we going to talk about that? Bro. Yeah. 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 If that I go back and drop a video of that and I see that in the closet, dude, I am burning the house down. Dude. <laughs> Bro, that, nah, no that's chance. Just, nah, fuck no that. Chance. Watching. Fuck that, dude. When Steph pans back seconds later, and it's gone, no one dude. there. Oh, so did Steph up. capture real paranormal activity in her basement? I think it's and just what happened after this? Well, we'll there. never know. Because you see, Steph hasn't posted to her YouTube channel since these creepy incidents. Ten years ago. Ten years ago. She's dead. Bro. If you yeah, see a video sure. that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, neck. contact me at yeah. nukes.5 at gmail.com. What <clears throat> remains? Uh, YouTuber right, and right. paranormal skeptic El Kubo Oficial was contacted by a homeowner who invited him to investigate strange paranormal activity in a house in Mexico. Years ago, the property the house sits on was a guava orchard. When land Yummy. developers dug up the orchard, they were shocked to find the unexplained remains of two bodies buried in the orchard fields. Jesus. One of the bodies was that of a That's young girl. The tasted weird, I guess. A house was yeah. later built on this land, <laughs> and the family living there has experienced nothing but terrifying supernatural activity. Of course they have. And they toes. see things move on their own. They hear the unexplained whispers of a child. God. And they've even seen the ghostly apparition of a young girl walking Ankles. the hallways. Eventually, the family just decided to leave the house. But the homeowner, Pipa, now claims that the house is so haunted that no one will buy it. El Cubo Oficial agrees to investigate the allegedly haunted home. He is accompanied by paranormal investigator Paco Santin, yeah, who would buy psychic medium like Ali, and the home's no owner, Pipa. Yeah, fuck that, dude. The investigation is streamed live to YouTube as the group enters the house and begins their investigation. Niña. ¿Dónde? Sí, aquí por el paseo atrás de Paco. Aquí, 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 para el cuarto este. ¿Acá? Sí. Mm. No right into it. Guardate esta para ¿Me puedes tu lamparita? Sí, sí, sí. Guardate esa. Oh, oh my God. What? Sí, Santi. Sí, hay algo aquí, güey. Yo, tell me that was one of them. Where did you hide her? Don't be a bitch. I swear to God, there's nobody in here. I'm gonna puke. Hello. 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 Hello.
<laughs> See. Oh, mommy. Bro. He said, "Ah, oh, mommy." Culo, güey. Hablaron, güey. Bro, that is clear. That's got to be Pero somebody. Pero no es un vecino, pipa. Oh. Aquí está mi niña. Aquí está una presencia de una niña. Yeah, obviously. Está muy fuerte, eh. Muy fuerte. Hola. Sabes, Pipa, debe ser un vecino que traes, carnal. Sí, sí, a huevo. No, no me no dice que sea un vecino, güey. No, chécate en la puerta, chécate en la puerta, chécate en la puerta, chécate en la puerta. Chécate en la puerta. Chécate en la puerta. Están hablando, güey. Están hablando. Eso no es normal, güey. Pipa claims that he sees something lurking at the back door. And then they all hear the voice of a child from somewhere within the house. Now, YouTuber El Cubo Oficial is a complete skeptic when it comes to the paranormal. So he believes that the others might simply be playing a prank on him. After looking around and checking the back door, he asks all of them to empty their pockets and leave their phones on a mattress sitting on top of a table. This is to eliminate any chance that one of them might be simply playing a recording. Good thing. At the exact moment that El Cubo Oficial is explaining to his live YouTube audience that he has a hard time believing in the paranormal, he captures something absolutely terrifying. Pero se me hace difícil eh, aceptar que hay una niña aquí, o sea, no es como... Mm, Wait for someone to jump off that bunk si bed and warm tackle him. Escucho una persona viva. O sea, si, si quieren que se haga esto. Tal coche, gracias por tu apoyo. Nos quedamos De nada. Atención. Oh my God. Yo, yo, you saw that too? Yo. Oh. Oh my god. Bro, that was crazy. Dude, there's somebody peeking in the door. Did you see it? Without knowing Bro, it, El Cubo that is a little face girl. Of a young girl. Yeah, he's the getting his shit tossed. Right Bro, you can see the nose, him. the hair, the big old it's forehead. It's not until many minutes later that they read the live chat and discover what they just captured on camera. Imagine you're streaming on YouTube the door and your chat tells you that. The room, oh there's my no god. One there. There's no way, dude. So did they possibly <laughs> capture the ghost of the young girl whose remains were found on the property? Dude, I would or lose my mind if I saw that. Is it just an elaborate hoax? No chance. You decide. See you, you later, El Cubo. You can watch the full video with <laughs> even more scary activity <laughs> over on the YouTube channel, El Cubo Oficial. Monster on the wall. Caitlin Nichols is the proud mother of two-year-old triplet girls and shares Jeez. her journey from infertility to motherhood on TikTok and other social media. Her TikTok is dedicated to sharing stories and videos of her three girls and she has never posted anything related to the paranormal. That is, until huh. one evening when the baby monitor in her children's bedroom captures something very creepy after the girls wake up from their nap. Oh, great. Like a scene out of Paranormal Activity. <laughs> Just waiting for one of them to get thrown across the room. <laughs> they just start break dancing and one does a backflip. Jesus. <laughs> okay. Holy, it's all the toys. Those toys on the floor or bed sheets? On the left and the right, you don't see all those the toys. The triplets are all watching and pointing yeah. at the exact those same wall. And, and they the seem middle, to but... be talking to something that isn't there. I wonder why the Caitlin camera moves. Says that yeah, she has no idea that, what that the girls too. saw and is unable to explain their odd behavior. But then, on another night at 3.40 a.m., her daughter Millie wakes up crying, scared of something on the exact same wall. Well, they got the LED set up. <laughs> oh, like someone scoop. There's a monster on the wall. Um, I wish they would show the fucking wall already. That would be nice. I like how she's crying and the other ones are just sound asleep. <laughs> Must be nice. We finally get to see a picture of the wall and it's just a poster of Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh.
Little Millie sobs as she explains to her mother that she saw a monster on the wall in her room. So just what are the triplets seeing? Is it possible that they can see something that we can't? You can watch oh no, more videos of the, the girls' wall. eerie and unsettling reactions over on Caitlin's TikTok page, 555 MPH, a triplet story. If a claw would have came out from the bed and dragged him down there, that'd have been cool. Josh but... from the YouTube channel Other Studios reached out to me about a friend of his named Cody. Josh claims that Cody was alone in his house in Oxford, North Carolina one day when suddenly strange things began to happen. Lights begin to flicker and he can hear the sound of things being moved around in his home. Needless to say, Cody is pretty freaked out. But he takes out his phone and starts to record short videos of the strange events to send to his girlfriend. <sighs> fire, 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 fire. And the mayonnaise is there. Somebody's taking a shower. In the sink. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Alright. Eventually, Cody has had enough and steps outside for just a few seconds to take a break from the crazy things happening in his house. Ghost don't want After him to see his butt cheeks. Moment to gather his courage, he starts recording again and steps <laughs> back inside. What he captures is absolutely terrifying. Let's see it. Hey, was there somebody in the doorway? Nope, 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 nope. Cabinet doors have opened on their own and a chair has fallen over on its side. Okay, but most bro, terrifying like of all, at. a face can be seen staring Yo, at Cody from I the top right corner of a doorway. Oh my god. Cody oh is shocked when he reviews Yo. his footage. To this day, Cody still has no oh, idea what this horrifying face ceiling. could be. So what do you think that is? You can watch the full video the over on his YouTube raccoon. channel. Other studios. Yeah, you wish it was a raccoon. Another suspect sounding yeah. name Josh claims is not a short film, quote, studio channel. In point of fact, Josh has never uploaded anything other than this one video. Jeez. Raid Shadow Legend. Oh, God. Um, scratch that. The Raid. <laughs> now, this next <laughs> clip is another case where I've been unable to find the original source video, even after hours of searching. The video is in Portuguese and was posted to Reddit by user Mr. Miracle BR. He claims that he found the Attaboy clip on Twitter yeah. where it was shared by a Brazilian police officer. The video allegedly shows a raid by law enforcement officers in Brazil. Now I have no way to verify the backstory on this one, but the clip is definitely very creepy. Caralho, bicho, que que é isso, mano? Cuidado, Judá. Uh -huh. Okay. There's nothing here. Yeah, there's not a door headbutting the wall. Are we gonna talk about it? Okay. Yeah, that's normal. Somebody sheared it. I'd be kicking the damn thing right now. Somebody's ass on the way out. What the fuck was that? So we just got hit over the head with a teapot. What was that, bro? I don't know, my screen just glitched. It like somebody just jumped out at me. A door violently opens yeah. and closes on its own. Freaking out the team and searching Dude, through what appears to be an jump. abandoned building. But, did you see it? As the men run and the have. cameraman waits for the others to catch up, yeah, bro, a horrifying face that appears is to quick. quickly pop up from the edge of a door frame before disappearing back fuck? inside. That was like a baby doll, it bro. so fast that only when the clip is slowed down can the face be seen emerging out of thin air. Oh my god. But is gosh. it real? Or is it all just a very elaborate hoax? Jesus. Jesus, dude. You decide. What is that? Alright everybody, that's gonna wrap it up for the video. We hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, make sure to check out Nuke's Top 5 down in the description. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Peace.